it's like 1am in the morning. I've already been out in the cold with my flatmates. Freezing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bonkers, it's so cold! I've been told we can come back in, but they won't turn. Oh, my elbow that clipped. It's quite nice. I won't turn the fire alarm off. At the moment, I'm just enjoying a lovely background orchestra. Hopefully, they'll turn it off sometime soon because we've had really long eight hour days. I have another eight hour day tomorrow. I need my sleep. It's just turned 6 25. I've been awake, kind of for 10 minutes but now I need to get up and make my breakfast that fire alarm went on for hours last night so I'm gonna have to really dig deep today use every bit of energy that I've got I can do this come on Anna get out of bed you can do this here we go I don't know about you guys but there's something really therapeutic about making breakfast in the morning. It's something about when I go to bed and I know that I can have breakfast as soon as I wake up. It's a good thought. It helps me sleep well. We're just doing some stretching. I always like stretching in the morning because I feel like it's the most convenient time of the day to stretch. I look like an absolute mess. I apologize. Yeah, so I'll do this for 20 minutes. Just completely missed the chair. Man, my filming in this video is atrocious. Really gotta get a hustle on now because I want to get there and do a cool workout before class starts. Get that heating on. That's my heating right there. True determiner of the day is my hair gonna stay up and play ball? It should do because by this point it's got so much hairspray in it, it's practically straw anyway. Where's my hair bands? They are underneath the camera, how convenient. I always do my ponytail with my head facing the wall. Have we got any bump? Oh, it's gone up. Okay, let's get the hairspray out. This is the point in the show where Hannah molds her hair to her head. all melt off during the day anyway so we don't do too much a little bit lippy although my lips are so dry it looks like i've practically got lipstick on anyway right let's go turn these lights off okay. I should probably turn the kitchen lights off as well there we go Again. I have a thing about having my hair neat. What's going on with that flickering light? It looks okay. So we are on the way to school now. Got out of the house a little bit later than I would have liked. I want to leave at 7 40 and I left at 7 45. And those five minutes make all the difference in the morning. So 20 25 minute walk to school now. So I like to use this time to get in my zone. I listen to some tunes and try and like focus myself for the day. Kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be doing. So sometimes the breaks I like to practice and especially this week we have a lot of auditions and stuff coming up but I sometimes like to work a little bit in the lunch break on my solo to get it up scratch. I'm right by a very busy road and it's very noisy. We can do this. We can do this. I'll see you on the other side. Just got back. Well, I got back a little while ago, but I was on the phone to my mum while I was walking back because I don't like walking back in the dark. I'm going to have a shower and make some dinner. It's about 7.15 now. It's been a very, very long day. We had class this morning and then we had about six hours of rehearsals. So it's been a very busy day and I am ready to sleep. 
One of the perks of living in a student accommodation is you get your own like mini paddling pool after you have a shower. The whole bathroom is practically a swimming pool. I do clean it, I promise. Look at them blisters, woohoo! So this is dinner. I'm so excited. We've got some kale, some baby broccoli, some pine nuts. We've got some pesto here that we're going to put on it. Spinach and ricotta tortellini, mushrooms. So we've got lovely flour over here. Hello. Is that white wine there? It, it is. It is. I love it. Today's just... been a hard day. Yeah, we fe we're feeling we're feeling it. You know what it is though? It's a Thursday thing. Every every day, every Thursday, I get really depressed. Every day. No, every day. <laughs> That's every, every, day. Th every Thursday, I have like a crash. Like is it? Let us no. Do you have a day of the week where you just always find yourself crashing? I can really relate to that. If to there's honest. a pattern, surely there's a way to stop it. That's but that if you've got any tips. Mr. Shadid, when exactly did you and Dr. Doc Good morning everybody? It is half six, I should probably be going and making breakfast, which I'm going to do right now. Yeah, it's Friday, last day of the week, so we just got to push. We can do this. We can do this. I feel like that's all I've been saying throughout this whole vlog. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. But that's honestly how I've been feeling. So, we can do it. I've woken up this lovely red little little buddy up here. You wanted a feature on the vlog? I'm tired. to wear a leotard so today i'm wearing one of my favorites from basilica dance where you guys guessed it and as i say almost in every video if you use the promo code hannah10 at the basilica dance wear checkout you can get 10 percent off any order so i do super recommend that i feel like it's a little bit of a brave color to wear for a friday but we're gonna go with it Did not go up so well today. I don't like it. Might do it again later. Need more hairspray for sure. I kind of feel like this is a repeat of yesterday because it is. I'm quite a person of ritual, so I pretty much do the exact same thing every morning before school. Only difference is I'm a tad more tired today than I was yesterday. Just trying to fight through the fatigue at the moment. We're gonna get through it. We are gonna get through it. I think I'm gonna give my mum a quick call. I always like calling her in the mornings and the evenings. Good news, my lips aren't as dry as they were a couple of days back. That is one thing to be happy about today. If you're feeling really down, you should try and think of one thing that you're grateful for. Today's agenda is pretty intense. Like nine hours maybe. And I've got to finish off some academic work. It's gonna be a long day and also I've got to get the video that I'm uploading tomorrow edited because I haven't even started editing tomorrow's video. I will see you after school. <laughs> We are out, eight o'clock. I stayed a bit later after rehearsals to practice. Just decided to have a bit of a boogie and do some improvisation because I love doing improvisation so much. 
I gotta be careful to get run over by a car here. And now I'm just walking home, contemplating whether to get the bus. So I just got back and now I'm gonna just do a little bit of work that I've got to do. Some like, can't even articulate a sentence. Pronounce your T's, Hannah. Articulate a sentence. Better. And then I've got to get on to editing the video for tomorrow. I'm still in my coat because I haven't been bothered to put the heating on just yet. I still need to shower. Yeah, I've got quite a few things to get done tonight because I have to get the video up ready to upload for tomorrow. I haven't even started editing it yet. So it could be a very late night. <laughs> So I just finished off some of the written work that I had to do. I thought in this vlog, I've got a couple of really cool packages that came and I wanted to show them to you because we all like new dance wear, new stuff, and they are a little bit different this time than my normal like leotard hauls. So I wanted to show you these two packages that came in the mail. You can guess where this one is from, Dance Wear Central, of course. I really apologize about the lighting and the sound of this vlog. As I say, it's a chaotic 48 hours in my life, so do bear with. So they, 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 I can't. You, you, you could, you do. Words, it's nine o'clock at night, it's been a long day. They sent me a Christmas package, which is so exciting. Lovely little water bottle, a turn board. Guys, comment down below if you've ever used a turn board before. I personally haven't. I've tried it at my friend's house and Let's just say I came very close to breaking my ankle. So I think I do need a bit more practice with it. I will probably do it after my mock audition on Sunday because I don't want to hurt myself. I think this is so cute. I wonder what colour I got. Pink! Oh my goodness, yes. A pink turn board. How cute is that? Follow my Insta if you want to see some fails because there will be probably. This is the one I was most excited about. I know this sounds really silly. Ouchy pouches, but they actually have a floral pattern on them i mean what a genius came up with this these are like contemporary socks i really need some of these because i just use like normal socks that provide extra support and comfort when you're dancing especially contemporary light blue my favorite color actually the only problem is is that often i don't want people looking at my feet because i don't have the highest arches i'm wondering if this particular color is going to attract some attention and finally from this package we got this beautiful looking notebook again you can get any of those items from dance wear central so i would really recommend go and check them out i will link them down below <laughs> very handy at the moment because I'm going through a lot of point shoes right now. I got a package from Merlay. Dun dun dun. How cute is that box? I've never got point shoes in a box like this before. She just sent me my normal shoe that I usually use which is the Chloe. Recommend trying out Merlay. I'm pretty sure I talked in a couple videos ago about how much I love Merlay. Um, if you want to go check that out I will link that video down below. Um, and a little note saying welcome to the family. Oh wrong way. Don't even know which way is up anymore. Now my little haul is out the way with my awful lighting. It's on to edit it. No, I'm going to have a shower and then it's editing for the rest of the evening, I think. So, like, I need to sort out my room because it's an absolute mess. The methodologies of ballet, there are different versions, but I'm just going to go off like the more English R.E.D. version. Oh my goodness, I've taken my hair out and I literally look like it's still up. that's how much hairspray I put in it because you know I wasn't happy with it this morning I actually did it again when I got to school and I put even more hairspray in it so I will wash it tomorrow probably maybe probably not I need it nice and greasy for Sunday obviously I had a shower had some cereal actually and I have just been editing for the last couple of hours this video which will hopefully be out would have been out a week ago by the time this video comes out um, but a lot of you ask like how do I edit and actually editing takes so long i don't think a lot of people appreciate how long each video takes to edit so i have edited about six minutes so far of this video 
and that's taken me about two hours so far. But it's like editing each little clip, adding the text and everything. It's like there's so much more involved than you think. I think each video takes me maybe five to eight hours to edit, something like that. So it's not just the filming, it's the editing that takes the time. So do you see each of these little clips, uh, each one that I've cut? So this is like the big clip, which I haven't edited yet. Yeah, that's how it how it happens. Oh, there's lovely Glatio. One eternity later. So it is half 11, much later than I would normally recommend going to bed. Normally I would go to bed before 10 or just after 10, um, but because it's a Friday and I don't have school tomorrow, and I've been trying to get this video done. It's still not done. I'm halfway through editing it. But I'm just going to drink this amazing cup of cocoa while watching a TV program for washing my face, brushing my teeth and going to bed. So I am going to leave the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of 48 hours in my life. If there's any, you know, video ideas, just comment them down below because I always like to have your input. We've just hit 16,000 subscribers, which just blows my mind, like how fast we're growing. I know I say that all the time, it's kind of cliche, but like honestly, it really does mean a lot to me. All the like hours I put into this channel and seeing it grow and seeing our motivating community just come together especially in this difficult time so keep on being a motivating force in your communities guys i really believe in every single one of you so keep pushing forwards dream big and make it happen <laughs>